Hi everybody, welcome to Exploring Food with Smitty. Well, I am back with you with another Super Bowl food treat that you can make for your Super Bowl party or if you're just watching TV. So what I'm doing today is a classic cheese bowl with a kicking up notch. So I have my things together, let me get organized and I'll be back and we'll get started. Okay, so what I'm going to get started with is my cream cheese. And what you're going to need is two eight ounce packages of cream cheese. So what I need to do is get this into my bowl and start moving it around so that it gets softened up. I've already put one in, so I'm getting ready to add my other one. And this is such a good day for this too. There's games coming on later and it'd just be good. And as I said, you can, this is something good that you could use for Super Bowl Sunday or just for any time that you feel like you want to um, enjoy. So I'm getting my cream cheese in here. I set it out to be soft because they said to set it out to be soft, but it's just, for some reason, I guess it's so cold, nothing wants to soften up. So, I'm going to get this in here. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is go ahead and stir this around until it starts to get a little more softer and workable. So, let me go ahead and do that. Okay. So what I'm going to add to this is my two cups of finely grated cheddar cheese. So let's put this in. And you can use any type, really you can use any type of cheese you want. You can use um, a jalapeno, whatever you want. It's your cheese ball. Okay, so I'm gonna get this in here. And then to this, I'm going to add my seasonings, which is chopped onions, parsley flakes, and it is garlic powder. I had to think about that for a minute. So I'm going to empty that in. Get it all empty. Okay. And then to this, I'm going to add some Worcestershire sauce. It says to add a teaspoonful. So I'm just gonna try to gauge. There we go. Now, you wanna add a dash of black, black pepper. And then you also want to add hot sauce. Now this is not my favorite hot sauce, but since this is what I have, I'm using it. I'm putting in some hot sauce. And then to this, I'm going to kick mine up a notch. And instead of just using the plain cheese and things, I'm adding some chopped up shrimp to mine. Okay, so what I've done is I'm using gloves. You could use your hands if you want. It's your cheese ball, but I'm just using the gloves because I just want to. And then I'm spraying it with some nonstick spray so that the cheese doesn't really stick to my glove as I'm mixing it around. I'm gonna take this here. Put this over here. And I'm just gonna mix it. And what I'm going to do is mix it, and then after I get it all mixed together, I'm going to form it into a ball. So let me get started doing this, and then I'll come back to you when I get it all mixed up. Okay, so after I've gotten everything mixed together, I'm just going to form this into a ball. Like so. 
and I'm gonna set it on my plate. It makes a pretty big ball. And you also, if you wanna make this in advance, you can freeze it and make it. So let me finish forming these and get all my other stuff together and I'll be back. Okay, so I have my ball, all, all cheese ball, all, all formed. And as I said, you can make it with many, many different things. So the next step after doing that is to put your roasted pecan on a plate like so. And what you're going to do is to roll your ball and your pecans, your pecans, depending on where you're from. And you're just gonna roll it around until they adhere to the to the ball. And boy, that shrimp, you can see the shrimp on there. It looks so delicious. And as I said, you can make these ahead of time and freeze them. You don't have to make it the day of. Because I know once everything gets started, who wants to be making cheese balls? So I'm going to get this finished rolling in the pecans, and then I'll come back and show you the setup or the finished product. Okay, so our cheese ball platter is all made. This is what it looks like. You can put your crackers on, or you can add other stuff to it, or you could just have your ball and your crackers. So this is something that you can do for, like I said, your Super Bowl party. It's very easy. You can make ahead of time and it's delicious. So thank you for watching Exploring Food with Smitty. Stay tuned. I have some couple of other um, videos that I'm going to make for you if you are having a Super Bowl party and you want to make snacks. So like, share, and subscribe.